Hi, this is Travis from Sliver Surfer 1, and today what I'm going to be doing is taking my Xeon 4, my Xeon Smooth 4, and converting it for the for uh, small cameras um, and potentially larger cameras. Um, small cameras being uh, point and shoot cameras uh, and uh, action cameras and whatnot. Okay, so now we're back from uh, the fun stuff. I uh, hope you like the music. Um, so what we're gonna do now uh, that we have this retainer bolt off, the retainer screw off of this, uh, what we're gonna do in it is making it so that you can attach one of these, a point and shoot camera, okay? Uh, what I have here is the Sony HX50, um, and I'll be attaching it to my Smooth 4. Okay, so first off, you, you you don't really you don't need this for the thing. So put this in a safe place. The the screw. What you need for materials is a 40 millimeter M6 bolt. It can be either a hex bolt, or it can be uh, well any kind of head that you want. Okay, with a nut. Okay, um, I'm going to be using a hex nut today. You can use a wing nut. A uh, hex nut just gives you a little bit more room. And the other thing you need is a couple quarter inch washers, inside diameter wa fender washers, okay, and a whole bunch of weight. Um, these are other washers. This one's a, uh, this one is a one inch inside diameter with a two and a half inch outside diameter and one eighth inch wide. So are these, these are both like that. This is a three quarter inch inside diameter. Um, I believe that's a one 
16th width or one uh, yeah and the outside diameter is two inches on that one so this is I, I've previously checked and saw that these this combination worked on my uh, Sony it'll work on any of the HX uh, uh, up to HX 80 I believe uh, well, it'll work on any like these ones are specific to the ones that have the hot shoe If you have an HX that has a hot shoe, then these Are the correct washers to use okay, but you can do this for any point-and-shoot camera so what you want to do first is take One of your fender washers and put it on like this and then take your smallest and your two larger ones and then take another fender washer you put it through the back hole here see and hold it in place um, and then you take this part you screw this on here uh, don't go past the part where it's gonna catch on these little teeth that it has on the inside and then what you want to do is screw this in till it doesn't move anymore okay and try to center them on here okay so we have that so far and that's uh, basically it if you already have this one but what you'll have to do if you have another camera is trial and error and you take your camera and you click it in like that and when you're testing to see if you got the right amount of weight make sure that you have the the lens out okay so make make sure that you have the lens out can see that you can see that it's pretty well balanced on here that's all you have to do to convert your Z and smooth 4 um, check out some of my other videos uh, I, I did find out this can hold an a6000 if you make a bracket for it it hold more weight than than with the clamp because the clamp takes up a lot of a lot of weight okay and puts the camera further away so I, I make some 3d brackets that work on these check out my other, other videos I'll have um, them as avail available the ones that work on the smooth uh, Q are a little different from what would work on this they still work um, but I have to make changes to them I've already uh, done it in my 3d printing uh, program and I will print those out soon so you can see that I have gotten the a6000 to work on here and I've gotten the a5000 a to work on here um, but I have to print out the parts um, for the brackets here I'll show you how this works all right so we're gonna put this turn this on Okay, I'm going to make sure it's balanced properly by moving this little adjustable arm. You can see it's a little bit bottom heavy. So the cool thing with this is you can actually push it upwards by grabbing here and pushing on the bottom. Okay, so now... see um, one thing you need to do is when you do have this on here I suggest having a lanyard that attaches your camera to your clamp uh, on the the smooth uh, 4 okay so yes this is the smooth 4 and I've uh, 
adjust, I've uh, adapted it to fit small cameras. Okay, uh, you can see how much weight it takes to adapt a small camera to the clamp. You can also do um, some like action cameras as well. All right. So we'll just take this apart, shut it off. Take it off and yeah, there you go. And you can reuse it again. So watch my other videos because I will have a bracket for the Sony A6000 and for the A5000. I've already made, I've already uh, designed them and they're ready to print off. And they will work because I've tested the smooth with my other brackets that I made. They're not, not much different. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and thanks for liking. Have a good day.